before God, we're going to thank God that he has not left us yet. Amen. Parce que le monde a commencé avec mon Dieu pendant année, a été commencé, mais il arrive dans mi temps année, mon Dieu pas avec nous encore. Il arrive, il arrive jusqu'à jeudi à même. Et puis mon Dieu pas avec nous encore. Amen. So we gonna thank God jusqu'ici. As far as I know, we are all still in church. Amen. Ma connaissance mon Dieu avec nous toujours. Mais si vous connaissez mon Dieu avant toujours, la marche avant toujours, nous ne pouvons pas nous dire mon Dieu merci. Malgré la France que nous faisons pendant toute l'année, les nous avons encore bon Dieu encore, nous disons bon Dieu pardonnez-nous pour ça me fait. Bon Dieu n'a grâce avec fidélité, il pardonnez-nous. Amen. Mais les gens ne pas jouer une chance. Même les bon Dieu qui ont mis à l'école pour pardonner, mais ils ne sont pas intelligents assez pour nous dire bon Dieu, pour nous dire bon Dieu pardonnez-nous pour ça me fait. Et puis bon Dieu, tout est cathéo, abtanio, abtanio. Bon Dieu, ce qui est ici, bon Dieu, qui est béni, nous toujours, amen. Pour tout ça, nous t'étendons in, in the week of great divine favor. We heard that Jesus still wants to walk with us. He still wants to be in agreement with us. He is still calling us into a relationship, amen. Et parce que nous avons livré de nous-mêmes. So, si mon Dieu est toujours jusqu'à aujourd'hui, à l'irrer, mais nous toujours, la marche avec nous toujours, livré dans la relation avec nous toujours, nous pas dire mon Dieu merci pour ça. Amen. À nous lever, moi, nous pour nous dire mon Dieu merci. Heavenly Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace, O oh God, in this moment, O oh Lord. Once again, O oh Father God, to thank you, O oh Lord, that you are still walking with us, O oh Father, in your faithfulness, O oh God, in your mercy, O oh Lord, in your favor. And in, you, in your amazing grace, oh Father, you are still, oh God, holding our hands, say it. Et pas nous même papa qui qui aime bien on sait eh parce que si nous te qui aime bien on vrai sait eh pendant une année assez papa nous te qui qui te voile because there are many troubles oh Father that we encounter oh Father Lord throughout the year and God if you were not the one holding our hands still oh Lord we would not be able to say gloire à Dieu but because you are still with us because you are still holding our hands because you are still calling us oh Father into a relationship with you oh Lord. We can cry out tonight, Lord. Gloire à Dieu. We can cry out tonight, Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Jusqu'ici, Papa. Bouche nous qu'à témoigner. Gloire à Dieu. Et nous disons merci pour ça. Nous disons merci, oh Lord. That throughout the year, in the beginning of the year, Lord, you started with us, oh God. In the second month, oh God, you are walking with us still. In the third month, oh God, you are walking with us still, Lord. In the fourth month, oh God, you are still walking with us, oh God, till we reach, oh God, in the 12th month, oh Lord, you are still walking with us, you are still calling us, oh Father, to have an intimate relationship with you, oh Lord, just like Mary did say, Papa, nous disons merci, nous disons merci, valer au fast nous fell, say, mighty God, we send a, a bad odor, oh Father, into your nose, we give you bad offering, oh God, something with us in your faithfulness lord you still say god that you love us in your faithfulness oh god you still hold our hands oh god almighty god nous do merci nous do merci papa restauration vin dieu merci na dernier vendredi ça c'est nous vin dieu merci n'est ce que vous là avec nous toujours n'est ce que on marche avec nous nous même toujours n'est ce que on aime nous toujours there is not one thing oh lord that we could have done there's not one more prayer oh god that we could have done oh lord to gain more favor there's not more one thing oh god that we could have done there's not more money oh father we could have offered unto you there's not more fast oh god that we could have given unto you lord there's nothing oh god in the world oh lord that we could have offered unto you lord god for you to still lord desire to have a relationship with us for you to still lord god desire oh father to be with us oh god still lord heavenly father we thank you jesus we thank you lord how many friendship oh god throughout the year lord father god has left us oh lord family oh father lord has turned their back on us lord god but you lord father you are still with us you heavenly father you are still walking with us lord and we thank you for that lord 
dit merci Seigneur. 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 Amen. Et merci au Machita. La fin de ce qui est au monde là qui est Seishna, au cas où il somme sans toi pour moi en créole. Somme sans toi, côté David a expliqué quelques raisons qui fait lui reconnaissant avec Dieu. En tout prêter attention avec Somme ça. Somme sans toi. En dit bon Dieu merci, c'est un Somme David. Qui t'aime dit Seigneur merci. Qui t'aime dit Seigneur qui partage pour tout le monde là merci à tout le monde. Oui qui t'aime dit Seigneur merci. Moi pas doué jamais oublier tout bien des faits pour moi. Il pardonne tout péché mieux. Il guérit toute maladie mieux. Il ouvre tes mains bouche de roi. Il bénit. Il fait moi j'en irai même. J'en irai pitié pour moi. Il couvre ma bénédiction pendant toute la vie. Il fait me rester jeune à toute force moi tant que mal fini. Verset 6. Seigneur pas n'a pas si pris. Il rend justice en faveur de tout le monde qui a la justice. Il fait Moïse connaître le terrain dans la tête. Il fait petit Israël, il est merveilleux. Le Seigneur a un cœur sensible, il a un bon cœur. Il n'a pas fait qu'on l'ait facile. Il n'a pas jamais suspendu le nous. Il n'a pas passé tout le temps la pini nous. Il n'a pas encore pour longtemps. Il n'a pas agi avec nous, je nous t'a mérité là. Il n'a pas pini nous, je t'a doué pini nous. Même Jean, si elle a bien loin en hauteur, c'est comme ça, Seigneur, que les gens qui ont des créatifs pour lui, même les gens côté soleil levé, bien loin à côté soleil couché, c'est comme ça qu'ils ont été péchés nous. Ils ont été jetés bien loin nous. Même les gens qui ont été sensibles pour les petits, c'est comme ça, Seigneur, qu'ils ont été pour les gens qui ont été créatifs pour lui. Ils connaissent à qui ça a fait. Ils songent que c'est pour ces terres. Les hommes même, la vie est en cause. Ils ont grandi, ils ont fleuri en cause de la savane. Quand vous soufflez sur vous, vous disparaissez. Personne ne reconnaît que vous êtes là. Mais je remercie mon Dieu pour les gens qui ont été créatifs pour lui. C'est ce qui est là pour tout le temps. Vous avez pitié pour les petits petits. Pour les gens qui ont été créatifs pour vous. Pour les gens qui ont changé le commandement pour obéir. Seigneur, mettez les fauteuils dans le ciel. Vous avez gouverné tout le monde. Nous sommes les anges qui ont été en force. Nous sommes les gens qui ont fait tout ce qui fait. Nous même qui avons coûté ça l'a dit nous, fais nous renseigner. Nous tous qui fait partie de la main qui est dans le ciel, nous tous qui avons servi, qui avons fait volonté, dis Seigneur merci. Nous tous créatifs, mon Dieu, nous tous qui tout partout côté la gouverné, dis Seigneur merci. Oui, qui t'aime dit Seigneur merci. Amen, amen. Et moi, souhaite chaque monde qui est là, et chaque fois où tu as senti où ou pas fin qu'à réaliser ça mon Dieu fait qui fait ou pas qu'à chanter qui fait ou pas qu'à prier qui fait que ou pas qu'à content capable de somme sans somme sans toi côté David a dit il pas qu'à oublier ça mon Dieu fait et à mettre foi qui fait en pile foi nous pas qu'à reconnaissant envers Dieu ça c'est tout simplement c'est parce que haïtien dit et gain monde qui mange oublier so nous t'a dit amen si nous t'a pas qu'à pas qu'à témoigner gratitude non reconnaissance non et à chaque souffle nous prend envers Dieu ça c'est parce que nous mangeons oublié nous d'accord ça yeah. yeah, nous mangeons oublié mais prions prions Dieu pour que nous pas monde qui comptait parmi monde qui mangeait oublié mais pour nous toujours songer ça bon Dieu fait et comme ça n'a toujours reconnaissant envers Dieu ça n'a toujours gain désir pour nous rester dans présence lui n'a toujours gain désir pour nous adorer lui nous avons toujours un désir pour nous louer, nous avons toujours un désir pour nous servir, et nous avons toujours une énergie pour nous faire le service qui est nécessaire. Amen. Je suis content tout le monde à ce soir. Et nous croyons que demain soir, nous allons terminer l'année, si Dieu veut. Et nous souhaitons que tout le monde soit capable de jouer avec nous. Dans le ça, nous avons commencé depuis 6 heures, et nous avons divisé le service en plusieurs parties. Et nous souhaitons que tout le monde soit capable là, et à bien l'heure de témoignage ou même qui connaît bon Dieu des fonds bagages pour peut-être pour Ania et ou pas jamais de chance témoigner et dans l'église là et c'est là où tu es prié et Dieu te fait le pour 
so ou va gen chance pour témoigner demain si Dieu veut dans service ça et nous ta aimer pour que toute l'église ta ka joindre avec nous et de telle sorte que nous ta rentré dans année 2023 si Dieu veut et en force et avec puissance et pour que nous capable faire face nous songer lorsque 2019 ta va venir et pas gen monde te connaît ça ta va passer pas gen monde qui te connaît volume monde qui ta va perdre la vie peut-être un pile monde te prend au libre te penser que il y a un pile projet projet sous projet projet sous projet mais au résumé monde de vie à terre vie à terre vie à terre un pile monde mouri et gen monde c'est bon dieu qui mettait au dehors so c'est comme ça que pas gen rien qui vient plus bon qu'on y a noué année qui se passe à 2022 nous pas connait qui ça 2023 à côté so en on venir et monde qui dans le monde yo qui croit dans ou gang yo qu'on y a yo pral renouveler contrat yo avec ou gang yo avec magicien yo avec maçon logio avec société secrète yo mais nous même n'a pas venir renouveler contrat nous avec notre dieu notre créateur amen so fait effort mes chers bien-aimés quitter toute bagaille pour faire provision ça dans dans bon dieu et pour année 2023 car nous connaissons seul bon dieu lorsqu'il sécurise nous nous en sûreté gon seul abri qui sûr c'est lorsque nous rété comme celui comme ceux qui demeurent sous l'abri du très haut ça qui écrit dans somme 91 là c'est pas gon l'autre abri qui sûr encore c'est simplement comme il écrit dans somme 127 c'est n'importe monde qui a veillé ville là ou bien maison hein? si c'est pas l'éternel des armées qui a veillé lui monde qui a veillé là il veillé lui en vain ça veut dire que gon on seul abri qui sûr on seul côté où il est pour en sûreté après de ça pour en sécurité aucun aucun côté vinn prier mes chers bien-aimés vinn faire provision avec tout temps et tout tout ou même pour année 2000 euh, 2023 si Dieu veut que bon Dieu capable bénir on que bon Dieu capable continuer kembe on dans grâce li et qu'on a nos gars honneur et privilège pour nous céder microphone là avec l'évangéliste Mardoché lui c'est lui qui va produire pour nous assurer à la gloire de Dieu on nous applaudit le Saint Esprit pour nous la vie lui qui va l'activer lui pour bénir Merci beaucoup madame Louis que mon Dieu bénisse. Praise the Lord everybody. Praise the Lord everybody. God is good. God is good. And all the time Amen. Um, I praise God for allowing me to be able to give and share his word with you tonight. I am grateful. And for some people, they might get tired of me saying this but it never has to be me. <laughs> so when it is me, Donc, -moi -même. I'm grateful Moi. because I count it as a blessing. Parce que moi son I count it as all joy to be able to be a vessel for the Lord God himself to use and so that his word come, could come through my mouth and on to you. Praise the Lord. Let us stand up. We're going to do a quick prayer. Please close your eyes and bow your heads. Lord God, Father in heaven, we come before your throne. And we just want to give you glory, honor, and praise, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for this moment. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for this time, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for this opportunity, Lord God, Father in heaven, Lord, in which we are able, Lord God, Father, to share your word, oh God. Right now, Lord God, as we are here, we just... Pray, Lord, Father God, that you will take complete control, O oh God, of every word and every thought and every single aspect, Lord, Father God, that is to come out of our mouths, O oh God, may it all come from you. 
I pray, Lord God, Father in heaven, Lord, that you would simply just take over, Lord Father God, our tongue, Lord God, so that it will only speak, Lord Father God, the words of heaven itself. I pray, Lord Father God, that you will remove, Lord Father God, our flesh, Lord Father God. Separate us, Lord Father God, from our own thoughts and our own desires and allow you, Lord Father God, and only you to, Lord Father God, to be demonstrated, Lord Father God, in this moment, Lord Father God, as we speak. Father in heaven, Lord God, we are trusting in you, O God, and we surrender every bit of ourselves onto you, Lord God. I pray for every ear that is listening, O God, whether it be, Lord Father God, on social media or those who are here, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will not just, Lord Father God, hear, but they will listen and they will internalize and receive something, O God. In a way, Lord Father God, that in, a, the, in the same way that they came in, they will not leave in the same exact way, but they will have gained more. I pray, Lord God, and we seal this prayer with nothing more but the mighty name of Jesus, we say. Amen. 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 Let us open our Bibles in Luke chapter 17. Luke 17. Luke 17. We are going to look at verses 11 through 19. Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. If you see it, say amen. I will read for you, and you can follow along with me. While traveling to Jerusalem, he passed between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten men with serious skin disease met him. They stood at a distance and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he told them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And while they were going, they were healed. But one of them, seeing that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice gave glory to God. He fell face down at his feet, thanking him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Didn't any return to give God glory except this foreigner? And he told him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. You may be seated. Amen. The word of God is Amen. so beautiful. So what we come to remind you tonight is a continuation of what's already been. It's <laughs> What's already been sung, <laughs> what's already been spoken throughout the service, um, and what you probably have already heard. But reminders are good. Because when we don't have reminders, we, we forget. When we don't have reminders, we have a tendency to forget. So what I come to remind you is that gratitude brings a multitude. It brings, gratitude brings a multitude. I don't know about you, but I don't know if you can take a moment and just think about a situation with me. I want you to think about one particular person in your life who has done so much good for you. Like they do so many good things to you or for you that you 
that you almost can't count the amount of things that they have done. But then somehow, some way, you find yourself keeping count of all the wrong that they do. You can't count the many good they do because it's too many. But you keep count of all the wrong that they do because it's not that many. Praise the Lord. I don't know if you can think of that. Of anybody. But one of the people that comes up to my mind as I think of this is a parent. A mother or a father. Parents do so much <laughs> for their children that their children almost can't even realize the good that's being done for them. The amount of good that's done for a child by a parent and when I say a parent, I'm not referring to someone who just gave birth to a child. Mm-hmm. Or someone who just placed a germ somewhere and never came back. <laughs> I'm talking about a parent. <laughs> someone who gave birth. <laughs> someone who placed the germ somewhere. <laughs> And they took on the responsibility over time. Now that is what the type of parent we're referring to. Because when a parent takes on that level of responsibility that comes with it, they find themselves doing so much sacrifice. And they sacrifice even what they don't have. <laughs> or even, you know, the, it could be the last bit sometimes. Where you can find yourself not even having anything to eat for yourself as a parent. But believe me, you find something for that kid. <laughs> Because that is what comes with the responsibility that you've accepted. But what happens as a child, oftentimes the good is so much that we cannot see the good. And the reason why we can't see it is because we start to feel entitled. We start to feel as if that parent, that's their job. So the good that they do is like minimized. Because it almost don't really matter because that's their job. But, but what we forget is that every parent still has a choice. They still have a choice to be a parent or they can choose to not be a parent anymore. Because some parents do choose not to have, not to take on the responsibility. So now you have to ask yourself if my parent had not accepted that responsibility, where would I be? Where would you be? So then, when we understand the choice that this parent has made, where they are willing now to make that level of sacrifice and give to you that much good, 
tout bien ça. Any child who can recognize that. Yo ti moun ki kapab rekonèt sa. Will develop gratitude. Li pral développer reconnaissance. They will develop gratitude. Li pral développer reconnaissance. And in the process of developing gratitude. In a process pou yo développer reconnaissance la. They will then express the gratitude towards the parent. Et yo pral commencer exprimer reconnaissance sa a parent. And it will be expressed in every way that they possibly know how to. Because they've come to understand the level of sacrifice that has been made for them by choice. Not by obligation. Because it's not an obligation. It's a choice that they made. <laughs> So then now, once they've accepted to make this, I mean, once this child has, un, has understood this, and they have now began to develop this gratitude, and they begin to give back. And no matter how much they give back, they know it will never equate to what was given to them. It just will never equate. So you give and you give and you give and you give. And you just pray to God that you are always given the ability to continue to give. Because you understand the gratitude. Gratitude. You understand the level of sacrifice. And in the process of giving back, whether it be by obedience or just by giving hugs and kisses if that's all you got, <laughs> or just by listening <laughs> and being respectful, Respect. Whichever way it is that God has placed it in your heart to give it. There is something that happens with the parent when you do that. <laughs> the parent sometimes, I mean the parent at one point, they start to develop <laughs> an even greater appreciation for you. <laughs> So the love increases. Donc l'amour ajouté. And it's not even by choice. <laughs> they just start to just love you more. <laughs> and it goes so far that you can almost have everything they have. <laughs> they can give you everything they own. <laughs> Because gratitude brings a multitude. Parce que gratitude by a multitude. And you start off as a child not having anything. Et and then as you grow older and you give more to your parents because you understand this choice they've made. You come to process in your mind that whatever belongs to my parents now belongs to me. <laughs> and, I, and you feel so proud about it. <laughs> of course, I'm very proud, right? You know? You walk around with your, with your parents. Like, I remember I used to walk around with my dad's car. He had this brand, at the time, the car was brand new. 2013 Highlander. And he came home and he gave me a key. He don't know what he did. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. And I'm looking at myself with a brand new car. <laughs> and it's his car. But I feel like it's my car. <laughs> I feel in myself. This is my car. I have a key. <laughs> no one can say it's not mine. <laughs> and I would go to work and, and I would be around all these rich people. And I feel rich. Because guess what? When they see me, they 
don't see a man rich. <laughs> because guess what? They're driving nice brand new car. I'm driving nice new car too. <laughs> we are the same. <laughs> We're the same. That's just how I felt. So I walked with my head up high with my daddy car. And to everyone at work, that's my car. I didn't have to tell them that's my daddy's car. It's my car. It's my daddy's car. It's my car. But you say machine papa. Say machine papa. Machine moi. But this is what we find when we reap the blessings of gratitude. Luke 17, verse 11 through 19. What we find here is there were 10 men. They were 10 lepers. And the Bible says they didn't even, you know, like they didn't, like they stayed from a distance. And they cried out to Jesus. Which means they knew who Jesus was. They recognized his identity. And they knew that he held the ability of healing. So, like many of us, when we have problems, we cry out to Jesus. And we say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, save me. Jesus, do this for me. Jesus, this is hurting me. Jesus, this is bothering me. And we have tears in the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. You know, we got the tears. We have all the emotional no, no, voice. If we had to drop to the floor, we drop to the floor. We say, Jesus, have mercy on me. As if we already knew him, you know. <laughs> because this is what just happened here. Right? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> the friend that I just met. <laughs> you know, I didn't even, you know, introduce myself yet. <laughs> but can you help us here? <laughs> right here, what happened with the ten lepers? <laughs> they were so desperate. Desperate. They didn't even say my name is. They didn't say hi, my name is blank. You know, oh, me, yeah. I was hoping you could possibly help. Like no. hi, no more Jesus, Jesus, Master, Matt, have mercy on me. They went straight. Into what they wanted. And they asked God for help. For help. And what we find with Jesus is that he did not process the introduction. <laughs> he didn't process the fact that, like, you know, I don't know you. <laughs> and you didn't even, you know, say good morning, good afternoon, none of these things. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just have mercy on me. In other words, just heal me. <laughs> that, that's what that means. Like, just heal me. And the Lord, <laughs> in who he is, made a decision. <laughs> he made a choice. He made a choice. And he says, go and show yourselves to the priest. And while they were going, they received healing. But then what we find here, Jesus never told them that they had to come back and show gratitude. Just like most parents never tell a child that you have to come back and express gratitude. But for some reason, the gratitude is expected. It's expected. 
It's expected to happen. Even if it's not said. Jesus never said it. But he let them go. But then when they did not come back. He said where were they? Did they not also get healed? Was it only one who got healed? Was it only one who got healed? But what we find with this man is that yes, he was the only one who recognized the level of sacrifice that just took place for him to receive what he needed. Just like a parent can have 10, 15 children, but only a few recognize the level of gratitude, I mean, the level of sacrifice that was made for them. Because what happened here, you have 10 people but only one returned. Only one came back. But all nine of them received healing. All your siblings received probably the same level of sacrifice. We all got the same thing. We ate the same food. It was the same job money. It was the same not sleeping process. It was the same, you know, vomiting, diarrhea, all things on your dinner table. <laughs> yeah, you have soup and diarrhea at the same time. It was the same process for all of them. Because they were all babies. And babies do all things. <laughs> they don't care where it's done. <laughs> right? We were all babies. So we just, you know, we do. <laughs> but then, still, still, we find only one man was able to come back So what I understand here is that gratitude is rare. Gratitude is not common. Gratitude is not common sense. It's rare. Because if it was not rare, then maybe nine would have came back and one would have stayed. But that's not what happened. Nine did not come back. But then only one came. That's because the quality of gratitude is rare. Not everyone is able to be grateful. Not everyone can recognize when good is being done for them. Not everyone can recognize the glory of God. Not everyone can see when God's miracles are being done. Because there are some people, even if the power The power of God is being manifested même, right in front of them. Même la puissance bon Dieu manifeste devant. They même. cannot see it. Yo pa ka wel. They can't recognize. Yo pa ka reconnaître. Because they see it as something else. Parce que yo wel a comme une autre bagarre. And maybe like several of um parents children. Peut-être même gens avec un pile parents. They probably même. see it as God's obligation. Yo ka pa wel comme c'est obligation bon Dieu. Maybe this is just God's job. Well, I come to tell you today that God has to make a choice. And he made the choice to love us. He made the choice to make the sacrifices that he made for us. He made the choice to have us 
still be living after a pandemic that just took place. He, he made a choice so that you and I can go to sleep and still wake up today. He made a choice just like he chose to heal these 10 lepers. But I come to tell you that though gratitude is rare, gratitude is expected. Even if it's rare, it's expected. And when it's not done, you lose something. You lose something. Because those who do, who do not have gratitude, they miss out on more that could have been given to them. Because the child <laughs> who comes to understand and can give back <laughs> even in the smallest little bit that they have, they gain so much more. Even more than what they even could ever have. <laughs> if they could have that parents, I don't know, that parents' eyelash, they probably would have had it. <laughs> because the parent would have been like, you need an eyelash, here you go. <laughs> they wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's like my eyelash is your eyelash. <laughs> this is our eyelash. <laughs> We're going to share this. <laughs> half for you, half for me. <laughs> In fact, as a parent, you're like, sometimes it's like, you can have the whole eyelash and I'll just stay with nothing. <laughs> Because that's what happens Parce que ça te when you have gratitude. gratitude. And it's the same thing with God. Because what happened here, Parce que ça te passe, the là. man who came back, Jesus said to him, Jésus dit, get up! Campe. Get, get up! Leve. Do you understand what just took place? Ou, ou ça fait que passe, là? The Bible says he went face down. Before the Most High God, before the Lord Jesus Christ, he went down because he was so grateful, because he understood what God had done for him. It was so much that he could not even stand. He couldn't stand. He did not have the strength to stand because it was too much for him to fathom. It was too much for him to fathom. And because of that, the Lord, the Lord spoke. And I don't know if you know, but there is power in the word of God. So when God speaks, something happens. So when Jesus spoke and he told them, go to the priest, something took place. And that is the reason as they walked to the priest they received healing because that's what God does when he speaks there is power in his word so in right here there's an extra level of blessing that this man received because God did not just speak to him once but the Lord spoke a second time but he's the only one that came back to receive that second language. So then the Lord said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has healed you. Get up. Your faith has healed you. He said your faith has healed you. I don't know about you, but that's not small. <laughs> For each time you get to hear the word of God, <laughs> that's not a small thing. <laughs> because the first time they heard the voice of God, they, he, they received physical healing. So the second time that the Lord spoke to him, and the Lord said, get up and go your way. 
aller. Y'all don't know what this man walked away with. Y'all don't know the power that he walked away with. And believe me. 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 He might have received the social things. He might have received the psychological things. He might have received the emotional things. He might have received the eternal things. Because now he's gotten a second word. Your deuxième parole. He got a second word from the Most High God. And the Most High God, His words are not in vain. His words are not in vain. So if you get one word, oh, that man didn't just get a word. He got a full sentence. Y'all don't know. He got a full sentence. So for every letter, y'all don't know what that man got. But the other nine did not get it. They didn't get it. All they got was that healing. And that's it. That's it. They were left with that. And even with that healing that they received, they can still walk into the door of hell. Even with that healing, because what they got was the physical healing. Because they didn't come back. Parce que they received, they didn't receive the rest. When you understand what God is, has done in your life, you will come back and give God praise. You will come back for the second word. You will come back for the third. You will come back for the fourth. And you will keep coming back because you know every time he speaks, something is done. So you're going to come back. And if you have not yet come back, today is the day. Go back. Be grateful. And receive the remaining of your blessings. But you can forget. You can't forget. These nine people who left. Yes, they got the physical healing. And believe me, a couple years down the line, they may never remember how sick they were. They may never remember again. They never came back. They may never remember again. And there's danger when you don't remember the good people do for you. There's danger that happens in that. And I don't have to tell you when it's God. Okay? okay? When your parents do good for you and you don't go back. And you forget. There's danger. You forget. When you forget, you become disobedient. When you forget, you become rebellious. And when you become rebellious and disobedient, you know what comes with that? Suffering. Souffrance. Pain. Douleur. That's what comes with it. Suffering. Souffrance. Pain. Douleur. Depression. Depression. Misery. Misère. You experience the worst things in life. But then when you listen to the voice of God, the same way when you listen to your parents, you get the blessings. When you listen to the voice of God, oh, you get the blessings. Yes, so I come to encourage you today <laughs> because that is what the word of God says. Colossians 3.15 The Lord says be thankful. He says let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body you were called to peace. And he concludes that verse with and be thankful. And he goes on in verse 17. Whatever you do, whether in word or in deed, 
Do it all in the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God the Father. Through him. Don't forget. The good the Lord has done for you. You see in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Verse 10 and 11. The Lord reminded the people of Israel. He said to them, when you have eaten and are satisfied. Praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given to you. He says, be careful. That's a warning. Be careful. That you do not forget the Lord your God. Failing to observe his commands. His laws. And his decrees. That I am giving you this day. You know why the Lord gave them this warning? It's because if they forget. If they forget. What the Lord has done. If they are ungrateful. If they do not go back and continue to praise the Lord and kneel before the Most High God, then they will forget God. And when you forget God, you will forget his commands. And when you forget his commands, you will forget his decrees. When you forget his decrees, you will fail. You will fail. The ten lepers, the nine lepers, sorry, who did not return, they have a greater chance of forgetting. They have a high chance of forgetting. And in fact, the Bible shows the fact that they didn't return, they've already forgotten. It's either they forgot or they just did not understand the value of what God had just done for them. They didn't understand it. Don't be amongst the nine. I tell you, gratitude is rare. Not everyone has it. But in Christ, you can get all things. So if you didn't have it, you can always go to God. Go to God's account and say, Lord, I don't have gratitude. I find myself ungrateful. But I'm coming to your big account. Because you said Parce que dit, you have access to all things. Ou gen accès à tout and you said ou dit, if I ask si mande, I will receive. Ma so I'm coming to ask. Donc, vin mande, I'm knocking on your door vin frappe, to help me to be grateful. Et dem pou if I forgot si mblie, if I forgot si my Lord tablie, the amount of things you've done in my life. If I forgot the plan of the devil for me. Plan, um, Satan pour moi. If I forgot the, what the devil wanted to make out of Sa, me. Satan fait avec moi. If I forgot the dark pit I was once in. Na douleur if I forgot the prostitute that the, the devil wanted to make of me. If I forgot that the Lord went down in the midst of that darkness. In the midst of that of that darkness. If I forgot the Lord himself, his clean self went down to grab you out because believe me, you would not be 
out ou pas if the Lord did not go si and get pas you. Dieu, même qui al because the devil didn't want you out. Parce que a pas the devil did not want you out. A pas I remember <laughs> when I gave my life to Christ <laughs> and I was praying to the Lord non-stop and I said, God, I need a transformation <laughs> from you. And the main reason I did it wasn't even because I wanted God. I just didn't want to lose my relationship with my dad. But I knew the only way to my dad's heart was to make sure that I was going to be able 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 to be But the greatness of God, <laughs> through that, he still saved me. He still showed up, you know. He still showed up. He said, you know what? I see your heart. He said, he said I, get, I get what you're trying to say. So I'm going to say the rest for you. He said, yes, it's okay that you're just doing it for him for now. Because I know in the long run it'll be for me. But I remember when the demon was left me, there was a demon that was rolling in me. And I remember the way that it was operating. I remember the Lord showed me as I cried to God overnight after night. And I was asking God to save me. I remember seeing a woman demon standing on the side of me and I saw myself walking towards the light and I turned around and I saw the man of God waiting for me but then when I turned around and I looked at the demon she cried she cried you know why? She did not want me to be free. She didn't want me to. But she knew the power that held in the man that called me. She couldn't call me back. So she cried. But because the Lord God came for me, I walked on. I walked on to the man of God who received me and gave me life. Until this day, I cannot forget that the Lord himself sent down the man of God to come and to cleanse me because through that man of God, I saw my transformation me begun. The Lord showed me that it was coming. It was already happening. And from the time I saw it, I believed it. And the Lord did it. The Lord did it. So I come to tell you, if you're knocking on God's door, he's going to show up. And even if you show, even if you're knocking in the wrong way, but the fact, the fact that you're at his door, he's going to respond. Just make sure you're knocking at his door and not on someone else's door. Because if you're at the right door and, and you're asking for gratitude, you're asking for transformation, you're asking for healing, you will receive gratitude. You will receive healing. You will receive transformation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you as we close out this year. Be amongst the one who returns. Gratitude, Gratitude is rare. But the one who gets it, they receive a multitude of things. May God bless you. Attitude of gratitude. Moi conscient ou bon pour moi, moi reconnaître ou bon pour moi, moi conscient, moi conscient 
Pensez des merveilles, bon Dieu, Alléluia, Alléluia. Pensez de là, vous faites depuis là, vous faites là pour qu'on y a, Alléluia. Et puis là, vous faites jusqu'à jeudi, bon Dieu, bon Dieu, Alléluia. Nous ne pouvons pas faire partie des fios, alléluia. Nous conscients, nous bon pour moi, reconnaître, ou bon pour moi. Si vous reconnaissez vous ne pouvez pas fatiguer chanter ça. Alléluia. Il fait 10 ans, c'est vrai. Mais vous ne pas fatiguer chanter ça. Alléluia. Alléluia. Ah ah. Quel monde qui a vu oui? Uh-huh. Alléluia. 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 Ça tient mon qui commence à comprendre. Alléluia. Pour qu'on t'aime sortir et pour qu'on t'aime bien, je dis Alléluia. Non, pas fond péché avec la mort ou foi. Alléluia. Oui. L'homme gagne la race qu'on t'aime sortir. Alléluia. Le manalisé quand il est côté me grandir. Le manalisé pour nos studios faire sous la vie moi. Moi conscient. Ou bon pour moi. Malgré des faux moyens, moi, ou bon pour moi. Alléluia, Alléluia. Alléluia. Les analyser tout faute moi yo alléluia alléluia 
Les analyser tout faut moi yo Les penser de gratitude moi yo Ou bon pour moi, me reconnaître ou bon pour moi, me conscient ou bon pour moi. Le m'a fait panorama vim, Seigneur, me reconnaître ou bon pour moi. Ou bon pour nous, c'est ça qui fait nous venir à soi pour nous dire merci. Merci. Son saint petit mot pour yon gros bon Dieu. En vérité, je senti ça passer. Oh, je senti ça passer. Merci, son saint petit mot pour yon gros bon Dieu. En vérité, je senti ça pas assez Oh, senti ça passer Oh, senti ça passer Oh, senti ça passer Merci Son saint petit mot Pour yon gros mon Dieu t'en coup en vérité, senti ça passer, il va passer. Oh, senti ça passer. Merci, il y a un petit mot pour y en gorger. En vérité, senti ça passer. Point genou, à ce genou, à ce genou, à ce genou, à ce genou. Oh, senti ça passer. Merci, on sent un petit mot pour yon tout le monde pour Dieu. En vérité, senti ça passer. 
passe, li passe. Oh, senti ça. Merci, mon petit mot. Puis en bon Dieu, t'en En vérité, senti ça passe.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit guide us and keep us. May the spirit of gratitude continue to be with us. May the spirit of gratitude never leave us. And even as we end this calendar year, may the spirit of gratitude and recognition be the subject of our thoughts the esprit de reconnaissance si je pense non non seulement pour assurer non seulement pour moi ça mais pour jusqu'à ce que Seigneur retourne pour l'église amen que bon dieu venez god bless you